Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video we're going to show you Ubuntu running on an HTC Touch Pro 2. The guys at XD Developers have figured out how to run this through Harrit.exe. Ubuntu, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm not a user of that operating system, uh, is a flavor of Linux. And so, just like Android, uh, you can run it through Harrit.exe on a Windows mobile device. And actually, I've been messing around with this, and it works quite well. The keyboard support is there. You can't make calls on it, obviously, but it's really fun, especially if you are a Ubuntu user. So I'm going to zoom in on the screen a little bit, and let's move around the screen. So we've got the mouse cursor synchronized here, and we just brought up the calendar, it looks like. So I'm going to go up here to the upper left corner to the menu, and I'm going to go down to Office, and let's go to the word processor and see how that looks. So you get the Ubuntu word processor on your Touch Pro 2. Pretty amazing stuff. They've also got this working on the Xperia X1. And last I checked, the keyboard actually works. I'm going to slide off the keyboard and say, hello, this is a test. And it's very small on the screen, so I'm having trouble reading it. And let's see if I'm able to highlight that text. Yep, and let me change the, the font size. Got to be very precise with the stylus. Let's make it larger. <laughs> Look at that, it works. So let's uh, zoom back in on the screen. And in the upper right corner, I'm going to hit the X, or at least try to. It's very, very tiny. It says, do you want to save? And I'm going to say, close without saving. And we get the calendar still kind of blocking the view there. OK, and that goes away. I wonder how you hide the calendar. Again, I don't use Ubuntu, so I'm not really sure how to do these things. So I'll go back up into this menu up in the upper left corner. And let's go to Office and the Word Processor, or the spreadsheet, actually. It's going to take a moment, but it's going to launch it. OK, and here we have the spreadsheet program. Let's see if we can move it around on the screen. It looks like I can't do that, but perhaps I'm doing that command wrong. We can tap along in the spreadsheet program, just like you could do in Excel. Although, of course, this is the Ubuntu version. I'm going to exit out of that and see what else we have. Oh, forget about that. <laughs> see what else we have in the, the menu up here. So we can go to Settings and Appearance. And then we get a few settings here, although probably many of them don't work because we're running it on a device that really wasn't intended to run this operating system. So we can bounce around here and change the different options. Again, I'm not really sure what any of these things uh, do because I don't use Ubuntu. But if you do use Ubuntu, then uh, you'll probably feel comfortable in this, in this environment. I'll post a link on pocketnow.com on how to get this running. It's very easy to do. You load all the files onto your storage card, run harrit.exe, and within a couple minutes, you've got Ubuntu running on your Touch Pro 2 with keyboard support. So pretty cool stuff. That's it for now.